This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights China issues today. are still... Uh, the term Ubuntu. A the alien and sedition accident. Is making inferential discovery. The importance of an archive. The John Ho Franklin Center. My name is Sabine O'Hara, and I have the privilege of serving as the executive director of the Council for International Exchange of Scholars and vice president of the Institute of International Education. Um, it is our privilege to assist our colleagues of the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs of the U.S. Department of State in the administration of the Fulbright Scholar Program, the flagship international exchange uh, effort of the United States government. Under the Fulbright Scholar Program, annually, a catalog of awards is assembled that lists all of the Fulbright opportunities available for faculty and administrators from the United States. You find that catalog of awards on the CIES website under U.S. Scholar Programs. The catalog is searchable by country. Um, and you will find awards to about 135 countries or so, and you will find awards in virtually every academic field. Uh, over 60 academic disciplines will be listed in the awards catalog. Um, these academic fields uh, span everything from the arts and humanities to the social sciences, the sciences, but also professional fields like journalism, uh, the law, uh, public health, global health. Many awards are available in the field of education. Uh, so whatever your field of expertise might be, I am confident uh, there is a Fulbright Scholar Award that would be a good fit for you and would hopefully be of interest to you. The awards uh, for the so-called core program of the Fulbright Scholar Program uh, typically are semester-long awards. The longest awards are for nine months. Uh, that's considered an academic year-length award. Um, application deadline for these awards is August 2nd, 2010, and that would be the application deadline for all awards available during the 2011-12 academic year. We expect that during that uh, next academic year, 2011-12, that there will be about uh, 850 or so awards available for U.S. scholars. Uh, they typically fall into two categories, uh, teaching awards or research awards. Um, some are also listed as open to both research and teaching. Um, if you consult the catalog of awards that you find on the CIS website, you will find that in addition to the academic field and the country, it will also specify to what academic rank the award is open and whether it is a teaching or a research award or a combined award. In addition to the awards that are available uh, through the core program of Fulbright, there are also scholar awards available for shorter term under the Fulbright Specialist Program. These are awards of two weeks to six weeks in length. Um, and the award is actually not driven by a application from a U.S. faculty member, but instead uh, the proposal comes from a university overseas. And the universities will request expertise from U.S. faculty members for the purpose of implementing a specific project. So for example, they might request expertise in the, uh, the area of curriculum development and might say we, we hope to put in place a PhD program in nursing, which we have never had, and so we are seeking expertise from a U.S. faculty member assisting us in developing the curriculum for this new PhD program in nursing. Or they might say we hope to have our chemistry program accredited and wish to invite to our campus a U.S. faculty member with expertise in the field of chemistry who could help us bring our program to internationally uh, uh, adequate standards so, they, the so that the program would meet the standards of accreditation to the uh, American Chemical Society, for example. Um, Requests might also come in faculty development. Uh, we hope uh, to offer some workshops to assist our faculty 
uh, in developing new teaching methods that increase student engagement um, or that engage students um, off campus in such opportunities as uh, service learning or collaborative research. Um, so the expertise requested by universities abroad uh, covers a wide range of academic fields and a wide range of projects. Um, the U.S. Uh, faculty members play a very important role in being able to implement these requests. And so would, we would invite uh, U.S. faculty members to be rostered as Fulbright specialists. If you wish to be rostered, you will be reviewed in the field of academic expertise that you list as your primary field. And when a request comes then in from a university overseas that seeks your area of expertise to assist with the implementation of the project, we then make your file available to that university so they can request you as a Fulbright specialist. So again, please visit the CIS website. On the website, you will find a link to the specialist program and it leads you through a step-by-step -step process how you can apply to be rostered as a Fulbright specialist. You will be on the roster for five years and during that five-year period we will then make available your area of expertise and your file to those universities who submit proposals in your listed area of expertise. I hope this is a program that is of interest to you. Thank you. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.